In case you guys are curious about my playtime so far, I'm at one hour and four seconds. <laughs> Damn it! I almost added exactly one hour! Although it's also a good thing to know. Oh yeah, you can also, um, press A to look at where you are relative to all the other layers you've been to so far. All the other zones, I should say? But you press select to see the maps for other areas as well. So, you know, you don't have to look at just where you are. You can look everywhere else in case you are ever curious to look for stuff. Which is good in case you're trying to figure out where your next power is. Which, another reminder, it's right beneath us. How are we going to get there? Eh, who knows? We'll figure it out. But, yep, it's time to explore the planet's depths and prepare for pain, as always. So, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. This is your host, the MJ-406. And we're doing the same thing that Samus does every day. Defeating evil adversaries so she can destroy the planet because the evil's too great to release onto the rest of the galaxy. I guess that's the excuse that she has. She blows up every single planet she visits, pretty much. I guess the evil's too great there just throws all the planets she goes on into instability. So is the enemy's fault, or is it her fault? That's the real question, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well. Who cares? As long as I know where I'm going, I'll go anywhere for fun. Lots and lots of fun. Ooh. There's definitely going to be more to this area we have yet to uncover. Well, thanks, map. I don't need you anymore. At least I don't hide anything in the map rooms. That'd be a dick move to hit something in a map room. <laughs> it's already optional enough. You really have to make it painful. At least the save rooms you want to go in there, so it's encouraging to do that. What the hell? Oh, look at that. You can blast through those, too. I want to say there's something else I can blast through up here as well. I feel like there is, but I don't remember. Then again, the missiles are always weird with how I can use them look around stuff. I know there's a weird super missile block I can just... There's a missile block I can destroy somewhere. Oh, there it is. See, so yeah, there's a weird thing. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, I can go... Oh... There are some secrets they don't want you to easily find, either. You don't have an x-ray visor or scan anything. Then again, the scan power also technically is the power bomb, which we don't have either. Hey, I'm not ready to go down there yet. I'm exploring. Do you mind? Oh, yeah. I think I might use the shine spark and get stuff here. Instead of the super missile, I think I can get everything in here. The super missile is really useful. So, I should make use of it. Oh. Should probably break the door down first, idiot. Well, to most easily go to this room, I like to do the shine spark, so let's do it that way. Speedrun strats. Always good to know good speedrun strategies. Because they'll be helpful. Come over here. Both of you, come over here. There. Now, let's do this the right way. Hopefully I do do this the right way. There's another technique to remember. You can also jump and then shoot. You can do a running jump and then shoot, and then you'll be standing still. Jump again, and you can actually do your shine spark. So look at that. I blasted through that whole freaking corridor. That is why you want to do the shine spark for that. You got difficult platforming, unless you want to do it the smart way, and just fly through. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks to the super missile, I guess you get through this. I think I can get everything in here. If I can't get everything in here, I'm going to feel like an idiot that I wasted my time. Oh, well, that's a little convenient. That would be kind of hard to reach now, wouldn't it? Yes, very hard to reach indeed. Why well, I feel like I want the shine spark again. Then again, you can never tell in some of these rooms. Sometimes these areas are just painful to go through altogether. Well, thanks for being there for me, I guess. Oh, right! That's what I want to do. Come here, little guy. I finally remembered. Get over here. Eh. Okay. A little close. Let's try it again. Could you leave me alone, asshole? Man, did he respawn or was he always there? I just didn't remember till now. You know, he's been whacking me like three or four times now. Eh. And since I always spawn one of these guys at a time... Yeah, this room's going to be painful. Then again, I feel like they would rather me have the space jump for this, but... 
Oh, who cares? I'll figure this out one way or another. There we go! Oh, wait. Is that what I wanted? Nope. God damn it! I don't know what I want to do anymore! Well, I'll figure it out one way or another. Ha ha! Finally! And yet, we're not done yet. You need to do this, too. God damn it. Well, here we go. Woohoo! Made it! Get away from me. I don't need you anymore. See, so you got another missile expansion pack here. Clever use of enemies will also help you out in the long run. Let's go! Woohoo! Man, I love the Shine Spark. Hmm. There's a fun topic. What's your favorite Metroid power up? Oh, there's so many to pick from, too. You got Speed Booster, which is basically your speed running power. You got your basic missiles, which can be used to, um, yeah, blast through um, enemies. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to say there's actually something else I just remembered going over the Metroid uh, Origin manga. Oh, well, honestly, it's probably better off saving that for when we actually get some Mother Brain. There's something about, you know, Mother Brain's weaknesses. But anyway, there's the Super Missiles, which is basically stronger missiles. There's the Screw Attack, which is basically a freaking super devastating somersault. Yeah, it's really like it should be a better question for later on in the game. But if you know the Metroid series well enough, this probably works out for you, too. You know the power-ups by now. Do you like the power bomb and its overall destructive force? Do you like the gravity suit for the fact that you can basically defy gravity with it and you can go through water with it? And it's ultimate protection in pretty much every Metroid game? Or do you like something weird? Like the whole PED suit from from Metroid Prime 3 where you basically have phase-on enhancements to use that kind of weaponry. That's game-specific, but that whole ability is a power trip. That's definitely a high up one for me. Like, if I had to think of mine personally, within the 2D Metroid games, it would definitely ow, be the screw attack. Because the screw attack combined with the space jump, oh yeah, they're also, you know, like just some of the maneuverability ones, like space jump. The ability to just basically jump in the air infinitely. So you're basically flying. You're basically Kirby at that point. Or maybe you like one of the beams. Like the plasma beam that can rip through enemies. Combine to the wave beam that can also rip through walls. So basically combine them both. You can rip through everything. It is really fun to think of all the amazing powers that Samus gets throughout these games. That's what makes this series so great. The power trip you get when you have everything put together. Oh, it is just amazing. Oh, looks like I went the wrong way. Well, I'll go this way anyway, since I'm already here. Why not? <laughs> I just came here for the missile expansion. Don't mind me. This is all I wanted. Don't worry. You all can still do whatever it is you all do. Die? Yeah, you can all die. There we go. That'll work. But, there's so many powers to pick from. Do you like the way particular games did it? Like, Again, Prime 3, the Nova Beam, which basically, oh, you got Plasma Beam early on to burn things, but it's Prime 1's Plasma Beam, so it only burns, it doesn't shoot through things. Okay, here's Nova Beam, basically Plasma and Wave put together in this form. Wow, it really is basically what it is, isn't it? Hey, it's still cool. So I still like it. It's cool. That's good enough for me, damn it. But, oh, there's so many to pick from. Screw Attack for 2D is probably mine because, you know... Basically, the ability to friggin' blast through anything. Although, Power Bomb's also a good contender, but that can go for anything. It is basically just a nuclear bomb. It is a little generic, though. So, you know, I wouldn't call it one of my favorites, but it's always a nice one to think about. Because, well, who doesn't like a good nuclear bomb in their arsenal? No wonder why Adam didn't want her using it. Oh, God, don't mention Adam. Stop mentioning Adam. It's unnecessary. Come here, buddy. Time for you to die. I'm tired of dealing with you, so leave me alone. Well, and again, I can deal with you the easy way once I get this power. So, it's time for the Wave Beam. Speaking of awesome power, it's the Wave Beam. This beam, which is made up of energy, waves can pass through solid objects. Oh, yeah, something else I forgot to mention. I kind of liked how the original Super Metroid, you can actually turn on and off as many power-ups as you will. I feel like they either got rid of that because of glitches or... They figured, why would you get rid of your power-ups after you got them? 
just keep stacking them on. Why would Samus in her right mind ever get power-ups and then decide, I don't need these, I'm gonna turn them off. <laughs> oh, other M. One of the many things that you got kind of messed up for a lot of fans. Ugh. Poor other M. Not a bad Metroid game. It's very looked down upon because of its execution overall. Let me through, please! I do not want to deal with you. Oh, great. These things are awake now. Well, thanks to Wave Beam, I can shoot through the wall and shoot into the stomach now. Oh, God! That killed it. My bad, guy. My bad. Sorry. Although, it looks like I can finally go deeper now. I can probably speed boost through that wall after I deal with this asshole. Oh, God, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Well, that worked. Ha ha! Thanks for the fun times, sucker! Oh, look at that! I managed to get an energy tank as well through all this. Damn bugs. They're invulnerable except for their soft underbellies. I'm trying to think of that reminds me of an enemy in one of the other Metroid games. Eh, not important. There are a lot of enemies with soft underbellies. It can be anything. So I won't worry about it. For now, let's just move on. Yeah, I haven't saved it a bit. I probably should. Just be safe. Safe saving, my favorite. Oh, I always want to feel safe in this place. Then again, we're going deep into a freaking planet. Who's going to save about any of this? Huh, okay, that ceiling. Blowing up that ceiling felt pointless. How do you ever think of feeling safe when you're exploring the depths of a planet? You're going to deal with extreme heat, not to mention who knows what's actually down there. Oil and such. Man, this place seems like it doesn't need oil. Shozo probably came up with their own source of energy that doesn't damage the planet, as I would expect from them. Oh, cool! A boss that feels like something that was out of, um, Super Metroid, kind of. So? Let's blast all of its friggin' roots and get rid of this problem. And there we go, that's that. Thanks for the fun times, asshole. So I've used missiles or super missiles to blast that thing away. Not fun to deal with that one. But that creature is still sitting in there. Mm, I should probably deal with it then. Hey, the good news is, with that we go down to, well, the lair of you-know-who. Now the space fires have made it. Oh, God, the sun, finally! I made it to the sun! I've been looking forward to this for so long. I'm so cold, man. My skin really needs the heat. So, yep, the space pirates are here. You know what that means? Raise the sun god! Oh, wow, it really does like the sun, huh? We are the lair of Ridley. He is now here. So, prepare yourself. You're going to need to, because it can be pretty deadly here if you're not prepared. Ooh, I go up here, too. Not that I should. Oh, sweet. Super missile refills. Thanks. I can use more if you don't mind. I would like more, especially considering what's coming up next. Yes. Don't worry, you always have these runes to refill your weapons, your weapon ammo, and your health. So, you know, definitely make use of them. Very helpful to have on you. All right, then. You know, I have the super missile, so technically I could ignore this boss. But, yep, it wasn't obvious. This is when you're supposed to get the super missiles. But because I already dealt with that, I already got them earlier. Oh, it burrowed in here now. So it burrowed deeper. Huh. Neat. Maybe I should go around and deal with it. I guess it means it burrowed the hole deeper, so I can actually go fight it. Seriously. Why do so many of these plants always allow me to go deep into them? Down, to, like, towards the core. I'm surprised she hasn't friggin' blown up a planet just from exploring it. Seriously. Oh, wow, it really did burrow. It burrowed like a weirdo, too. So it... Um... Oh, boy. Well, that sucks. Oh, these eggs lying around, too. This can't be good. It's not. Oh, God! Ah, what the hell? What is that thing? Kill it! Kill it with fire! Well, we have a giant bug thing of some kind. It's an asshole. Ow! Don't try to jump up at it. Not a good idea, by the way. Just try to put that out. It all shoots needles you can get ammo from if you need it, but I wouldn't bother. 
mistake happens to be pretty quick, which is pretty annoying, honestly. You can also just do this to free it behind it and really do damage on it. Oh, I was thinking of doing Shine Spark against you. Alright, fine. Just die already. Asshole. Oh, damn it! Hey, what up there? I wanna follow it! There's nothing up there. Don't bother. It's not worth your time. That's right! Destroy your eggs, bitch! Thanks for the Super Missile Tank. How uneventful. But <laughs> yep, this is how you're supposed to get the Super Missile Tank. You battle this boss. It just flies around a lot. If you follow it, it'll try to stab you. If you're away from it when it spawns from down, from up the ceiling or whatever, it'll basically try to shoot needles at you. You can use those to refill your missiles, because charge beam and missiles are all you can use to damage that thing. I give you the charge beam can actually damage all the bosses. I always forget that. When you're your beam shots, with the exception of all the standard enemies, they feel useless. I like when it feels like there's a balance to it, which this game does not nail right, which is kind of why it's low on my Metroid list. I say low, I more mean, you know, it's not as great as I would like to say it is. Everything else gets so right, though. The missile thing is honestly my biggest complaint in this game. It really is. Like, were for the fact that we really only want to use missiles on bosses, which the formula that you have for basically being able to do that. Oh, yep, also gotta remember. Hey! No! Great. This shit again. It's just like it was in Metroid 1. I love falling the hole and not getting a freaking energy tank. Super Metroid did the same thing. Man, they really love Metroid 1, don't they? <laughs> it's more Super Metroid, it is, believe me. Oh, God, the pain of it all. The pain of it all. Just let me get my energy tank and we can move on with this the right way, please. And it sucks it on a screw attack. Oh, okay, that was mean. <laughs> oh, God, tell them to go through. Hey, don't forget us. Oh, my God, they're everywhere. I forgot I have wave beam. I should make more use of that. Why are we getting so many super missile drops? Man, this game's never that generous with that, usually. There we go, add a second layer to energy tank. Reserve. Gee, thanks. If only this game had a reserve tank. You know, it's weird. Only two games in the series have had a reserve tank. And one of them was optional. Well, I guess technically the reserve tanks... Well, no. They're actually power-ups to collect in, uh... In Super Metroid, yeah. They were tanks to collect. Where in... Well, Metroid... In, in Metroid Samus Returns, the Metroid 2 remake, you needed an amiibo to do that. Which was, you know, nice that they had it all, I guess. It was a nice little bonus to make the game easier. It's not essential, but it's helpful. Or it could be, like, Dread of the Amiibo stuff, which I guess I could go over that later when we get to Dread in the future. Oh, speaking of annoying power-ups, time to get some annoying power-ups. Come with me, if you will. Because, well, let me just point out something for you. Look at this floor. Speed Booster. Time for some more annoying Speed Booster puzzles. Man, if you thought the Speed Booster puzzles in friggin' Metroid Fusion were abusive, which I'll admit... I still feel like some of them were. Oh, you've seen nothing yet. Some of these puzzles are just outright mean with the frickin' speed booster. The way I expect you to use them is just dickish. It's all hell. So, let's go! Yeah, don't forget, if you do a shine spark onto a ramp, you can basically get your speed booster to kick back on, which is useful because it can basically allow you to keep running along. Make sure you know these things for power-up hunting, because you're going to need to know how to do all this. And I mean it. You will know how to do know how to do everything like this. Let me through, please. Man, this game is kind of mean with its powers. Like, they really expect you to do so much to get some of these powers. It's just outright cruel sometimes. Oh! Right. I forgot. I have the wave beam! I can shoot through this shit! I forgot my own powers. <laughs> Oh, God. Isn't power up hunting fun? When you have to actually test your metal with your powers and actually know how to use them? Damn it, I'm just bullshitting my way through these games. I didn't actually know how to use all my powers. Damn it. Oh, they got me where they wanted me. 
They got me exactly where they wanted me. I should go the other way so I can actually blast through that the right way. You don't mind, I want to blast through here. There we go. That's a... Oh! And there's that too. This game's a dick with some of this stuff. For example... You got this too. Just trying to get up here. Eh. There we go. Okay, I'm good now. So yeah, you gotta know how to freaking maneuver yourself with all these freaking disappearing blocks too. Man, I hate the blocks that evaporate. Don't you hate that when you stand on ground and it just disappears completely beneath you and you realize you're gonna die because of that? <laughs> That's a fall I always hate going for. I'm gonna climb this ladder. Oh no, it disappeared from underneath me. I took too long to climb up. Damn it. Foiled again. Freaking ladders. I never like ladders. I prefer elevators. Escalators are fine too. I have to go through ep effort to actually have to climb elevation. Such a pain in the ass. Such a waste of time. Always so annoying. Huh, at least they still have a missile tank here. That's nice. They didn't keep that. They didn't make that any different. That's good. Yeah, by the way, in case you're wondering, that's not the only speed booster puzzle we have here. We have more! That's why would we have more? Man, if I shine spark through here, I could have gone so much faster! My speed run tactics! Ruined! I wanna go through yeah, I wanna go through here, okay. So time for shine spark again. Let's go! Last through! Nope. Shit. Well that was disappointing. Mainly because. Well, that ended up working out for me at all. I could come back for it, I guess, technically, but... Honestly, I'm always at the point, I just want to do it as soon as I can, because I see it! I know those powers are there! I must get them! It's part of the speedrunning thing, after all. You really want to make sure you get all these as soon as you can. Because otherwise, you're going to look like a fool! Damn it! <laughs> I hate when I have to actually get running room. Don't you also hate when you're trying to run a marathon and you can't find your groove until you absolutely need it and then you end up losing it? Like an idiot? Oh! Damn it! I was so close! I hate this area. Like I said, this game gets even more abusive of the Shine Spark than freaking Fusion did. Like, I admire the game of great Shine Spark puzzles, but it's not very easy to work with, so... Honestly, a lot of these come off as annoying. It's a great way to test your skill, and, you know, it allows you to come up with a platforming puzzle. But at the same time, it makes me get so annoyed having to do it every time. And it's one of the most painful parts of trying to do a 100% speed run. When you know you have this to look forward to, if you keep screwing up, you're really going to ruin your time. I feel bad for the 100% speedrunning community that tries to do this. They have to know how to do this down to the letter perfectly. All right, got it. Bam! Finally made it. Good. Now you don't mind? I'm going to get my Shine Spark ready again. Because <laughs> I need it already. Oh, right. Well, fuck me, I guess. I forgot about that. Woo! You know, I would say the Speed Booster is one of my favorite powers. But at the same time, you know, I hate, like, how much... They make you do the Shine Spark at times. It creates some of the best, but most annoying platforming puzzles in these games. Oh, by the way, here's a fun power to go for. It's a race against the clock as you have to try to go through all those blocks to get your way to a missile tank all the way up there. Oh, you basically got to know how to maneuver yourself perfectly through this. All right, hey, I like where the game tests me. It's just... Well, the constant failures are definitely a big turnoff for me. They definitely make me feel discouraged to keep trying. <laughs> oh, I just want the missiles, man. I need the ammunition. Don't you understand? I need the ammo to keep going. Or else I will never be able to beat Mother Brain. I need all the ammo I get my hands on. Now help, help, help me, damn it. Another way is to wait until you get the space jump to be able to do this. Did I say wait till you get space jump? I mean, uh... Well, that is one way to go about it. Ahem! <laughs> anyway, time to fall again. Damn it! But again, if you can 
do the friggin' frame perfect jump off of those disappearing blocks. You actually manage to jump your way across this just fine. But, if you don't have the patience or the timing down to be able to do that, don't bother. Just try to get to the point you can jump through this perfectly. You need to be able to do it so perfectly that you can actually just make your way up there. I got so close! That last bit always gets me. They really do expect, like, pretty much perfect timing with this. You only have a few frames of wiggle room for every moment of this. It's a real pain in the neck, this thing. No, no, no! Damn it! I hate this so much. Alright, you know what? I try to do this the easy way. If I fail again, I'll just time warp to me actually getting it. Because I don't want to make you guys have to waste your time watching me flounder around getting these power-ups. Alright. Yeah, screw it. Let's time warp. You'll see me get through it now. At least I hope you will. I mean... Uh, shine Spark puzzles are always a pain in the ass. Although, if you're curious about an easy way to activate the Shine Spark if you need it, you always just try to hold diagonally down as you run forward. If you do it right, you should be able to activate Shine Spark without much problem. There we go! Wall jump afterwards! That makes it easier, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I didn't know that till now, because I'm stupid. Well, now you know. And knowing is half of your conflict of interest. What? Yes, it's a conflict of interest to know things. <laughs> I didn't know that. You do now, bitch. You do now. Oh, God. This room. Right. Another fun Shine Spark puzzle. So let me just show you something. Let's try Shine Spark through here. You got a blast of these? What the? Why is this wall? What dick? They throw one missile block in there just so you can't casually run through here. And yep, it wasn't obvious. That's all Shine Spark Path. Or Speed Boost Path, I should say. You need Speed Booster to get through that. So, let's Speed Boost our way through it then, shall we? Yeah! You got Timer Jump just right. They didn't expect you to do the freaking ringer speed boost jump like dude this game actually makes you want to make use of your running speed booster like what a dick what a dick this game is so mean with this crap my goodness it'll all be worth it once you get the powers and they're out of the way it'll all be worth it there we go beautiful it takes a lot of practice to get these down if you feel like you want to wait till after you get towards the end of the game to go back and get everything, that's on you. Well, I'll just say it. Oh boy, some of these are painful. Oh, what can you even get in there? What a rip. What a rip off. Oh well. At least I tried and I failed miserably. Hmm. There's a lot to do before I get to Ridley in there, huh? Then again, these Shine Spark puzzles are definitely wasting a lot of your time on, because, well... Yeah, Shine Spark! Get good at it! But, you know, makes for fun puzzles, otherwise it's a giant annoyance. They want at least favorite power-ups. I think my favorite power up probably be the PED suit with all the phase on capabilities. Super Missile's a good one, Seeker Missile's a good one, Power Bomb's always a good nuclear bomb to have. Um... I can't think of too many... Others that, like, really stand out. The Phazon suit of Prime 1 was pretty cool. Basically being immune to Phazon, being able to sap it up and use it on the final boss. Oh, that was sweet. Then again, there are some great ones in Metroid Dread. But I don't want to say anything, because I didn't play it for the channel yet, so... You know, I'll say it again. Play Dread if you haven't already. Some of the powers of that are vicious. Although some of them are annoying that they exist. <laughs> There's such a troll power up in that game, too. I hate it. But you feel like you need it. Well, either way, let's end this episode here. So, yep, we're Ridley's Lair. Come back next time. Now I got all the power-ups I wanted around here. We will deal with Ridley. We'll take care of his sorry ass. And we'll, well, make him regret being in our path. Because Ridley's an asshole. He always has me. He won't leave me alone. And he doesn't know when to quit. At least he stopped calling me. Trying to tell me he's going to murder me the next day. Every day, I kept getting crank calls by him. So annoying! I don't even know how he hacked my comm systems! That just sounds really mature of him. <laughs> he could actually do that. 
He is smart despite his appearance, though. It's just he goes to his more primal instincts when a fight ensues. But don't forget, Ridley is actually intelligent. Never forget that. <laughs>